This documentary has been brought to you by Austin G. Purvis and Devin M. Thorpe, Air Conditioner. The issue was the demand to expand south and southwest. The warmer climate in the south and southwest caused people that were moving there to have an uncomfortable lifestyle. The solution came in 1902 when Willis Carrier invented the first air conditioning system. Uh, although the first air conditioning system was not aimed at human comfort, it was designed to control humidity in the pr printing plant where Willis worked. It was debuted on Memorial Day weekend in 1925. It worked by having warm air suck into the unit through the grill. Then the warm air flows over pipes with coolant in them. This cooled down the air and dehumidified any remaining moisture. The air then flows over a heating element. A fan at the top then blasts the air back through the grill into the room. A coolant flows through the chiller pipes and it picks up heat from the air blowing past the pipes and evaporates, turning from cold liquid into hotter gas. In units outside the building, metal plates are placed to dissipate heat and, electric, and an electric fan blows the air to accelerate the heat dissipation. Over time, inside heat gradually pumps away into the outside air. Social acceptability. Air conditioning was widely popular when it was first invented. It was a breakthrough technology that allowed people to stay comfortable indoors all the time by controlling the temperature. Some of the first businesses that Willis Carrier installed his new air conditioning system in was movie theaters. In 1922, Willis installed his system into the Sid Grauman Metropolitan Theater. Then in 1944, he installed one in the Palace Theater in Dallas, Texas. The owner of the Palace Theater said, The cooling plant is a revolutionizing picture show attendance in Houston. Each patron exclaimed to the delight when he gets inside the doorway. People accepted the new technology greatly, and they enjoyed access to the comfortable indoor climate all year round. <coughs> In June 1925, a writer for the New York Times visited a theater and wrote, When we entered the other afternoon, we noticed, as it did at other theaters, the changing temperature, which was actual relief. It was so comfortable that one dreaded going to the hot sun. Another one said, In April, 30, April 1932, the article from the Popular Science wrote, With complete air conditioning apparatus at home, broiling August sun will mean as little as piercing January cold. Every day is a fine day. A negative impact is that by being able to close your house and close your windows um, on a warm summer night, it has cut down on the people who used to actually spend time uh, conversing with their neighbors and taking summer strolls, things of that nature. We've become more closed in home. Um, gone are the front porches of the old Southern Colonials. Uh, you see more houses are, are being stretched out to their perimeters so that people are actually um, having more interior house as opposed to exterior house. And that's kind of a, uh, a drawback to air conditioning. Okay, Dev, um, one huge impact air conditioning has had on society is it has allowed more people to move to south and southwest uh, since roughly the mid-40s. Um, there's been a population explosion all over uh, Southern California, Texas, Arizona, and it's mainly due to the fact that air conditioning was invented and then by the 40s, 50s became affordable to the everyday uh, person and it's helped them obviously move south. When the first air conditioning systems were becoming publicly available, they were very expensive. Large cooling systems went anywhere from 10000 to 50000 The high price made it difficult at first for middle and lower class families to afford new technology. Fast forward to today, the price of air conditioning units has increased significantly. It is extremely affordable to most people. 
modern day air conditioning as we know it was uh, actually invented roughly 1900s. Um, since then, it took about 50 years till the 40s and 50s where it became uh, usable to, to the higher end um, of society. Since roughly the mid 70s, early 70s, mid 70s, where you can now purchase air conditioning as single standalone units uh, for your windows, as well as central, and central has become much more affordable towards the everyday consumer. Um, so it, it is definitely user friendly and, and able to be, uh, to be purchased and, and used readily by just about anybody. Um, you know, you can get a window air conditioner these days for $100. So um, it's, it's definitely affordable and it's definitely out there and it's part of our lives every day. Ecological accessibility. When the first air conditioner came out, it used coolant such as Freon which had a negative effect on the environment once released in the atmosphere. Air conditioning emissions have been associated with global warming as well as it creating a hole in the ozone. Environmentalists have fought coolants such as Freon have been and now companies have switched over to a less harmful coolant called Pyron. Um, the social controversy surrounding air conditioning um, actually answers two separate questions on this sheet. One being, is there any social controversy over the technology? And the other being, does or can air conditioning have any negative effects on the environment? And uh, quite honestly, yes, air conditioning the gases that have been used since the beginning or the inception um, being Freon, uh, literally not being recycled, being dumped in the environment every time you change an air conditioning system out over the generations, cutting them loose is actually part of, or some people feel is part of the reason we have a hole in the ozone layer um, or climate change and global warming. Um, the fluorocarbons that are in Freon literally attached to an oxygen molecule causing a, a chemical reaction um, and obviously that's bad. So since uh, 1994 with the Montreal Protocol, uh, as of 2010, air conditioning systems are now being designed and, and uh, built with an R410 refrigerant, which is an environmentally friendly refrigerant. Um, so socially, Obviously, people that believe in global warming feel that, that it is a negative, but it's being corrected. Um, and then back to environmental damage, same situation. Uh, the release of these chemicals into the atmosphere was actually part of the problem with, with the hole in the ozone and global warming. Future of air conditioning. Air conditioning units will continue to become more energy efficient and more environmentally friendly. Starting back in 2010, Law prohibits the use of Freon in any air conditioning units. This law should only decrease the amount of negative impact that air conditioning is causing on to the environment. The government started a multi-million dollar research program with hopes to make air conditioning more efficient and improve air quality. Also with time research, the amount of noise pollution the unit makes will decrease. Recent studies allow consumers to control their air conditioning from smartphones. This cut down and wasted energy makes them more efficient and affordable. Uh, going forward, air conditioning will just get more and more environmentally friendly in the lines of energy efficiency, uh, cost of use. Um, so they are literally designing new systems daily to the point where um, air conditioners at one point, the lowest or the highest efficiency you could reach um, isn't even legal to sell any longer. So it's moving forward. You're you're always going to condition air. Uh, you'll you'll condition space in an environmental whether it's cooling or even heating. Um, they use it on the shuttle. They use it every day. They'll use it on the Mars landers. They'll use it at any time that you have people in an, an unfriendly or uncomfortable environment. Air conditioning or or um, conditioning of that space will will be needed. So it's only getting bigger and, and better. Sustainability. The question that is always asked with new technology is, is it going to be sustainable? 
Although Willis Carrier has passed away, his legacy still lives on within the company that he founded. The company continues to bring productivity and comfort to the world through new innovations. The new innovations in his company as well as, well as in other companies are mainly focused on efficiency and sustainability now. The original air conditioners were not sustainable, but with the innovations and laws that have been made over time, we do now believe that the technology of air conditioners is sustainable.